Thank you very much uh, for the introduction. But uh, when I listened to the list of my, my books, I started to think, uh, uh, actually, what am I doing here? What is my expertise on the road to peace or, or the, the function of United States in the Middle East? Uh, but there is some connection. I will tell you, uh, as an historian, I will tell you a short story about myself. About um, 15 years ago, I published a book in Hebrew, and then it was published in, in, uh, in English in Oxford University Press. It's called Zionism and the Arabs. And Zionism and the Arabs, 1882-1948. And the, it started with the question, how or did the Zionist movement, from the beginning, understand the national conflict in Palestine, then, before the state? And the answer was yes. I think this is the, the, the most important achievement of this book, because it said yes, it proved that they understood the, the conflict from the beginning. And then I continue. In, in this way, and, and I published in Hebrew, in Hebrew, a, a book that is, um, if it says a good translation, imagination and statemanship. So the imagination and state, state, statemanship meant the imagination meant some kind of utopian imagination, looking for 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 concept of political uh, political concept and political solution to this problem. And it spoke mostly about federations and confederations. Confederations and federation from all the Zionist circles, from right to left, uh, and uh, of course uh, from, from the, 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 the left wing of the, in the Zionist movement, and, and even the far right, even the far right. Uh, there was a, a name perhaps is known to some, some of here, Jabotinsky, the right, right wing of the Zionist mo movement, and he spoke actually of a binational state, a Jewish state, but actually a binational state, the two, society, the, the, two, the, the two nationalities in one state. So from that I came to, 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 to uh, started to write something in, in, in the newspapers ab about it, and even, 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 I must, I must tell you that, that, that two, my, two letters were published in New York Times. In a, one, once in ten years, were published. Once in ten years, I became a, 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 a celebrity at New York. Some of my friends said, oh, wonderful, wonderful, so easy, so simple. And others said to me, look, I for the end, about the role of a United States role in the Middle East, I tried now to, to send a letter to New York Times. I tried twice. It was not published and will not be published. And, and I, think, I, I think I will explain why, and you will understand why. So, uh, the short story about, about myself, and, and you see, I, I, am, I am an historian. I am a historian, and uh, I'm looking on the conflict uh, from the historical perspective. And I think that in spite of also that history is not, is not a science, excuse me, it is not a science, but history gives us some experiment. Some, some, we, we can learn something from, from, from history. And I am looking at, uh, on, on the conflict. I'm looking from the historical perspective. And what did I learn from this? First of all, I learned from the historical perspective that in the, hundred, in the last hundred years, every, almost every national movement, perhaps every national movement, got his goal, succeeded. We have to look very, very carefully to find an, a national movement that, that failed. And especially, especially, I would say, about, about Zionism. Zionism, from my point of view, from my point of view, I don't, uh, I'm not sure you will agree with me, Zionism was, was, was a, weak, a weak national movement, a weak. But it succeeded. 
My conclusion my his, as an historian is that the Palestinian national movement will also succeed. At the end of the day, it will succeed. At the end of the day, there will be a Palestinian state. From the other side, again as an historian, I am looking at the refugee problem. The right to return. And I'm looking at it in the historical perspective since the First World War. We have a phenomenon of refugees, of millions of refugees in Europe, in Asia. Nobody of them returned. Somebody said there is no rewind in history. There is no rewind in history. I will say more, more than that. I will say more than that. For some million of the refugees, transfer was a better solution. I mean, I mean the Germans. The 12 million Germans that were driven out from east, eastern part of Europe to western Germany. And they saved from, from from the Sudeten. They saved themselves 50 years of communist regime and came to a, a democratic country, to an affluent country. From my point of view, again, for, as an historian, and, 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 and I must confess, as a Zionist, from my point of view, the question of Jerusalem, the question of Jerusalem, has also an historical meaning and historical rationale. And I want to, to, to say in, in, one, in, one, in one sentence. For the majority of the Zionist movement, or the majority of the Zionist movement, until a certain time, until, until 67, until 67, was ready ideologically and emotionally for a compromise in Jerusalem. And a compromise in Jerusalem meant a divided, a divided city, a div at two capitals. After 67, something changed. But when I, I started to deal with the, with the, with the Arab question from, from uh, uh, dealing with the, with, the, with the labor movement, for the labor movement, for the labor movement, the, the labor movement was ready to a compromise about Jerusalem. After 67, something was different. I will say something from, from the historical point of view about the settlements. The settlements, these graves, problem, very difficult. It is very difficult. But this difficult in some way was not a part of the traditional Zionist policy. The traditional Zionist policy was against settlements among Arab population. This was the tradition. Then it changed in 67. It changed in 67. But historically, it was not a part of the, uh, uh, of, uh, the Zionist policy. Now, uh, uh, this is from the historical perspective, what can I learn from history? The road to peace, and I, 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 I must confess, how long have I, I must confess, I, I, I changed my mind in the last 15, 15 years. 
are changed the mind that it was expressed in those uh, letters to the New York Times. <laughs> my first, my first.